I get rid of anybody that talks talk low or whatever. I don't care if they're family, best friends that I grew up with since I was a kid. If they don't see the vision, I'm just gonna, I, I, I can't have that. Peace. They don't understand me. They don't understand that I'm sick of the broke down Camrys. And everybody's saying what I can't be. I'ma do this for my family and all those nights. We had no lights till the landlords came and we'd have those fights. Back when I had no vice. Gotta cut the habit like I did it with exacto knives. Cause that liquor made my family bitter. Made my family quitters. I gotta prove that we can be winners. Make our salary bigger and can't eat dinner. We don't need to starve in the street. And as long as my heart got a beat, then we're all gonna eat. Uh, I swear to God, I'm a beat. Uh, I think one of the biggest things our biggest topics that I talk about is relationships. Um, like, I, I just love talking about heartbreak. Like, it's such it's such a fun thing for me to do. I love making sad songs. Like, sad boy vibes all day. Like, I, I absolutely love it. Yeah. I know you're feeling low. You don't have to lie to me. Only thing that scares you more than heartbreak is sobriety. Now you're always drinking and numbing your pain entirely. And you don't want no one to see, so you're doing it quietly. Because you think that no one can relate to you. Breaking up with someone that you always thought was made for I just rap deep songs, you know, and then you get results like where that girl cried in the Uber because I'm talking about, you know, pain, you know. So I think no one has done that yet, you know what I mean? So that was that was really cool. Oh my god. I was cheated on like two and a half weeks ago and Seriously? Exactly what you were saying, like Oh my goodness, I feel I need to give you a hug. Come, come. My goodness. I think most men are taught not to sh show emotion. I never really show emotion. It wasn't until recently where, maybe like last year or so, where I actually, I'm okay with getting emotional and I'm okay with crying in front of people. I was never like that, but it's like, I'm a human, like everyone goes through it. And when you do that, people connect even more with your story, you know? So I'm totally okay with it. I don't care if people, you know, find it feminine or whatever. Like, I don't, I don't care. Like, I'm gonna I'm a be me, you know? Wow, well thank you, thank you so much. And I know that breakups are never easy, like no. they 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 never are, but you'll get through it. Thanks. <laughs> I think uh, in the beginning, I wasn't focused on uh, helping people, right? I just made music to make music. You know, I, I made songs without a, without a vision, without a why, without a motive behind it, just because I like creating music. But then when I put out my mom's song, and I seen the impact that, that it can have on people, you know, like people reaching out to their moms after seven years and not talking to them, I'm like, this is more than music at this point. I remember that my mom was in distress and sick from stress. My name is O.P. Almaraz, and uh, Gremlin is my nephew. So with Gremlin, um, he came to me about five years ago or so, and he was, um, at the time he was working at a movie theater, and he would take the money that we, he would earn, and he would go record music at a studio. Being a rapper, you have a lot of money, I could send a lot of my family to a rehab or something like that, right? So it was the aspect of money, but it was what the money could do that could help my family. And that, that was a huge driver. And I kept listening to the music that he would uh, produce, and I thought it was good. And at one point, he came to me and said, hey, OP, you know, it's time for me to, uh, to grow up. And I've been told that I need to go get a job. So I was hoping that you can give me a job. I'm going to just put this music stuff aside because I'm not getting traction. Nothing's working. And I basically said, no, that's, no, you're not gonna do that. I won't let you do that. But when family and friends were telling me to get a real job, they didn't understand that like this was all I had, right? I've been working at this since, since I was a kid and you're gonna tell me to quit because you don't believe in yourself, right? And one of the biggest thing Opie told me was you gotta change the voices around you. So when the negativity comes in, your own voice starts to repeat what they said. And now you think it's your voice. And so it's repetitive and it's negative. And so we have to be able to manage that and understand that's not my voice. Whose voice is that? I told Mark when he's wanted a job, I'm like, dude, I've seen that road. And that road is you get a job, you get married, you have children, and then you're miserable. And when you're 35 years old, you're asking yourself, what did I do with my life? Why am I stuck here? And by then you have a house, you have four kids, you got two and a half dogs, and now you have debt and you're stuck. 
Like right now is the time to experiment, to dream, to pursue, to go all in, to, to get the voices out of the way and dedicate your time and energy and efforts every single night, every single weekend on whatever you want. He's amazing and he keeps getting amazing. Each, each time he gets, he's just, Mark's awesome. And all the people he touches with his lyrics, you know, I get to, on Facebook, I'll like look down and um, see the things that people post and write and like, dude, you saved my life, you know, or um, I started talking to my mom again because of the song you wrote about your mom. And just that he puts himself out there. He's not afraid. He's going after his dreams. That's something I've never done. I'm, I'm you know, older now and I, I still wouldn't do it because I'm afraid and so I admire him for that it blows me away that he's like this is what I want to do this is my dream and he's he's living his dream you know so yeah I admire admire him and for having the courage and I'm on my Instagram or social media and I'm like yo Mark it's two weeks before Mother's Day you gotta write a Mother's Day song and he's like yo dude it takes time. I can't write a song that fast. I said, like, come on, man, like, just spit one out really quick. Like, seriously? And so, anyways, I was giving him a hard time. Like, hey, man, use momentum of whatever's happening around us. Use momentum to drive this thing. I, I don't think my mom has ever seen me cry in my life. Like, just ever in my life, except maybe as a baby. But I don't ever express myself face to face. I do it all behind the microphone because, like, no one's there to say anything until they hear it. Two weeks later, he, he like plays this song for me and I'm like, are you kidding me? Even though we had a lot of pain, even though we felt a lot of rain, mom and made us who we are today. I don't regret a thing. Thank you for everything. It was so powerful and it's, uh, it, was, it was very um, vulnerable of him. And it was very transparent and things I never knew before. And it connected so much to the youth that on Facebook, it was six, seven, 10, I don't know how many millions of views, millions of views. The Orange County Register contacted him. Uh, one of the news um, channels interviewed him and his mother. That song uh, means a lot to me. So when I heard it in his lyrics, it touched me because that, he expressed himself, you know, telling me what he felt. And um, he's, that song was amazing. He really touched my heart with that song. Face all of my fears and never run. So thank you for everything. That's why I wouldn't change a thing. Cause if it wasn't for you, I probably wouldn't chase a dream. Probably would have given up. Probably would have backing down. But I got you in my blood. So I always stand my ground. How you taught me to. It made me stronger too. Just know that everything I do, mama, is all for you. I wouldn't change anything. It made us a lot closer. And it made her a better person. It made me a better person. Um, and it gave me this intense drive to help others. Not only people who suffer from addiction, but people who just suffer in general. I want to do everything in my power to help them, which is why I make this kind of music. So, thank you, Mom. Being sober, being there for my kids again. And that was the first apartment we got when I got clean. So everything meant a lot. <laughs> To me and my kids, I'm sure. Great times. <laughs> good, good picture. I love this picture. It means a lot. After she got off, um, or she recovered from drugs, like I still wasn't. I was still very distant. Like I didn't really want to get closer or whatever. You know, which is natural from what I hear now. You know, like you don't you don't trust them anymore. You know, like you just like you're, you're gonna do it again. Like let's not even build a connection, right? But she started to she got her apartment, she got her job, and she was consistent. And cons consistency is everything, and everything, and work, and relationship building, whatever. She was very consistent in her recovery. So I was like, okay, I see that you're taking it serious. I'm gonna take it serious too. I'm really happy that it can help people. You know, like I've had people say, you know, like yo, crazy messages, like yo, I almost killed myself last night. You know, I, I try to offer as best as, uh, advice as possible. I mean, like, yo, thank you so much for, 
for that. You know, I'm glad that my music can help you. Here are, are a couple of things you could do aside from listening to music, you know? So actual things that they can do because music is, 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 is like a temporary healing, but they need to actually do the inner work. My name is Priya. Um, I've been engineering and producing with Gremlin for about six, seven years now. The way I remember meeting Gremlin was kind of like hallways of school and stuff like that. And then like word of mouth. And I had a, a lot of friends in um, school that knew I did music as well. And uh, they, they kind of linked us um, together because they saw we were kind of on the same path. And ever since then, it's been history. Everything's always been super organic and it's always been um, very natural and like easy for us to communicate whatever we need to tell each other because just because we, we know what we're doing here, we're not, you know what I mean? We, we have a goal and that's just to make, to, make a, to make good music, you know? And he doesn't waste a single second. He comes to the studio prepared, ready to work everything like already there's there's his his whole his whole day is like mapped out and i love that because it it's it's like it's really like a no-brainer working with gremlin like you know it's going to be a smooth like efficient workflow every time when writing a song i always found it extremely difficult to sit down and write like very rarely will i sit down and write unless i'm super in the zone which is almost impossible to get in the zones standing in one spot so i go in my car and with the beat and I drive for like two or three hours, I get a concept, start, you know, memorizing lines in my head. And then after that trip, I probably have a verse or two verses and a melody for the hook. And then I come back to it like a day later and then I just wrap it up. And then for about a week, I memorize it like fully. And then I just come in here and bang it out. like. So I don't waste no time. I just have it in my head and we can just come here and just work. It's hard when they are nothing like you though. They saw it as strange when I started to change. And I said that there's way more to life, you know, than sparking a blunt and calling up girls to see if they want to get drunk. Dog, that's enough. I'm straining myself, trying to pull all of you up. He has definitely like helped me refine my ear. And I like that because it kind of, you know, it helps me. Uh, I mean, it, it really puts me in like kind of the hot seat and um, for, for the longest time, like it's been cool because he takes it so seriously. I just feel like the caliber of the music that he makes, as well as like, not to brag, but like, I just, I'm, I'm pretty good at engineering. So we trust each other. I gotta prove that we can be winners. Make our salary bigger and can't eat dinner. We don't need to starve in the street. And as long as my heart got a beat, then we're all gonna eat. Uh, I swear to God, I'ma be all I can be. And that is a promise from me. So mama, you don't need to grab that lotto. Cause I'm the winning ticket and that's my motto. I don't wanna slam that bottle no more. There's too many dreams that I gotta go for. And I gotta make that difference. Time is ticking and I don't wanna waste a minute. Not until I can look in my mom's eyes and we both begin to cry because I say I did it. Used to look at the world with Woo! Okay, I think, I think that's solid. I think that's a solid one. Can I hear it through real quick? Everyone I know said 2020 sucks, right? When they talk to their friends, they're like, hey, how's your 2020 going? They're like, oh, it sucks. Oh, okay, cool. That means it's okay that mine sucks, right? And, and I can play small and I don't have to work or it's, it's just okay if it's bad, right? And that's just the mindset that most people have. And I refuse to look at it like that. It's like, I'm gonna make this year a great year regardless of everything going on. Like personally, I'm gonna make this a fantastic year. And going in with that mindset, knowing that this was gonna happen, it's 2020 has been a huge blessing for me. You know, I, I've gained a lot more fans. I made the most money I've ever made in my life. It's crazy, everything's just happening exactly how it's supposed to happen. It's, it's beautiful. I have a lot of goals. I think one of the main ones that I've had since I was a kid that um, stuck with me and I'm still gonna do it, hopefully soon, uh, is buying uh, my mom uh, either her a house or a farm. But she said she's wanted that ever since I was a kid, so I'm, I'm gonna make it happen. I have no choice now, like I have to make it happen. I love you. I'm proud of you. Keep going. You got this. And I, I love you, Mijo, with all my heart and all my soul. Thank you for being good to Mama. Gremlin. So first off, I just want to say I appreciate you for trusting me with your sound and your vision. Um, and second off, I just want to wish you uh, nothing but success in the future just because I know that where you're going, there is a path set for you. And what we're doing is for the greater good of people. 
and I want to wish you major success and happiness and nothing but good sessions from here on out. So Mark, look, we've been together for a few years and I got to say, <clears throat> whew, I am very proud of you. The, your ability, <clears throat> your ability to understand that the only person that can keep your own dream alive is you, period. So you've done such a great job in managing the voices around you to make sure that you stay true to yourself. And I think that's so authentic and really needs to be taught. People can be inspired by you. So continue to use your skill set, your talent, your gift to influence people to be able to find their better life for their future. So I'm proud of you, brother. God bless you. Peace. I write music for the people who have gone through pain, similar to mine, and I want to let them know that they're not alone. I want to start thinking bigger. I want to start dreaming bigger. And I don't want to talk about how I'm going to start and then start drinking liquor. Because I need to be considered someone who has seen a winner someone who was working so hard in his life that he never took a seat at dinner but he tried someone who never slept because he'd grind and would only throw up love and peace signs and he made a fortune but you know he always helped the less fortunate on his free time and he showed the dreams you dream can come true yeah he himself was the proof they'll say all he ever did was impact because all he ever did was give back And that's that. <laughs> One take Drake, let's Thank go. <laughs>